Hey everyone, welcome back to Ancestral Healing. Today we are going to be talking about some of the signs you may be experiencing that you are suffering from an autoimmune condition. Before I begin, I just wanted to mention that I wrote an ebook called A Guide to Ancestral Healing. If you're curious about an animal based lifestyle, a carnivore lifestyle, this book has it all. I've provided the description below. I appreciate any and all support that goes towards this channel. Thanks so much, you guys. Okay, so sign number one that you may be experiencing or suffering from an autoimmune disease. You started to experience symptoms after a stressful life event, the birth of a child, or menopause. The onset of at least 50% of autoimmune diseases is attributed to unknown trigger factors. Many studies found that a high proportion, up to 80% of patients reported uncommon emotional stress before disease onset. Unfortunately, not only does stress cause disease, but disease itself also causes significant amount of stress. And this can lead to a vicious cycle of disease, stress, disease, stress. As many of you may know, I've had this experience myself. Recent studies discussed the possible role of psychological stress and of the major stress-related hormones in the development of autoimmune disease. It's presumed that the stress-triggered hormones lead to immune dysregulation which ultimately results in autoimmune disease. Sign number two, you have had chronic symptoms, yet your lab tests come back normal. This is something that I have experienced for years. I went back and forth and back and forth for at least six years with my family doctor. And each time she looked at me like I was a mystery to solve. In my experience, when you have chronic symptoms, but your labs come back as normal, this can lead to a misdiagnosis. In my situation, it did. Um, at one point, I remember my doctor did a urine test and something showed up in there. So she diagnosed me for months or almost a year with a urinary tract infection, which you know led to me being on antibiotics for months, which led to a variety of issues, including severe gut damage. Sign number three, you are experiencing at least one or two or three or all of these symptoms, hopefully not all, but some of the symptoms on this list. Physical pain, joint pain. This can all look like discomfort, swelling, stiffness, limited mobility and range of motion in your body, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, lupus, multiple sclerosis are among the autoimmune diseases with joint pain as a common symptom. Anxiety or depression, brain fog, low thyroid, skin issues like acne or rashes. For example, psoriasis and lupus are conditions with skin irritations as a common symptom. Dermatitis, eczema, and hives can also be strong indicators when other common autoimmune uh, diseases are present. Another symptom that you might be feeling if you're experiencing autoimmune diseases is a constant or frequent headache. Multiple sclerosis and myasthenia gravis, might not be pronouncing that right, have neurological involvement. And head pain and migraines are common symptoms of these autoimmune diseases. Head pain, jaw pain, and migraines can also be symptoms associated with fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome. Sleep issues is another one, and digestive issues. Over two-thirds of the immune system is formed in the digestive tract. Nausea, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, and heartburn are common autoimmune disease symptoms. Although having one of these symptoms on its own does not warrant that you have an autoimmune disease or a diagnosis itself, it's usually a good piece of the puzzle. It's a starting point, especially if, if these symptoms appear frequently. And another one is blood sugar issues. Another sign that you may be suffering from an autoimmune disease, and this is something that I had experience with, is that you have flare-ups. So one of the characteristics of having an autoimmune disease is that sometimes the symptoms go away and then all, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you get a flare-up without any warning, 
you might find that you're doing really well for some time and then all of a sudden for weeks for months you are suffering and all of your symptoms come to light that's kind of what i do here and what i've done in my experience is that i try to identify and remove what i think are the triggers for my flare-ups for my symptoms and in my situation it always comes down to food when i stick to an ancestral based diet animal based foods i'm i'm doing so much better i'm you know i can say that i'm almost 100% i'm not quite there yet but right now today 100% for the last you know 2 weeks i'm doing great but as soon as i have a flare up i backtrack and i think what did i eat and it always comes back down to my foods because when i eliminate that food i start to immediately feel better and the symptoms go away and they don't come back until i try that food again so that's my learning lesson so i hope you guys enjoyed my video i hope it resonates with you i hope it provides some sort of value i appreciate you and i just want to take the time to say thank you for watching all of my videos for taking the time to leave comments and share your stories i appreciate you all i hope that you guys have an amazing weekend and i will see you on the next one don't forget to check out these other two videos on the screen if you haven't already seen them and that's all have a great day guys